my channel so today in this video I have a new wig for you and this is from elvahairwigs.com yes elvahairwigs.com and this is how the packaging comes you get a black box with their logo on it so let's go ahead and get right into it so the packaging does meet my cute packaging needs I'm satisfied with this though it is a little banged up but that that just isn't Elva's fault I'm gonna blame that on DHL because honey these shippers um, can be pretty hard on your package especially when they're like these little thin uh, cardboard boxes honey because they throw your stuff around with no regard to what could be in that package so yes this isn't Elva's fault so yeah we're gonna go ahead and get right into it all right, let's see what we got in the package. And of course, this is the wig. And it always comes in like a sturdy Ziploc type bag. All right, now what do we have? Of course, we have some type of pamphlet with all their social media um, outlets on them, as well as um, thumbnails of YouTube reviews of other people who've reviewed their units. Thank God for YouTube sometimes because, huh, T. It comes in and saves the day for me sometimes when I'm wanting to know about a certain product or whatever. I just go to YouTube and listen to reviews and actual, you know, visuals of the product. So, yes, honey, I love a good review. And, of course, like the owner's manual, instructions on washing, storing, and caring for your hair, and a net. Now, I don't really know who uses these. I guess Vanilla Babies uses the nets, but I can't use a net. That net isn't going to do anything for me. But you know what, though? This net could come in handy if you store your wigs on wig heads and uh, the curl pattern or texture is, like, curly. You can put this net on it to help retain your curl pattern. So, I, I guess... They come in handy or whatever. I just don't use them under my wigs, you know. Not strong enough to hold this hair, okay? But nonetheless, let's go ahead and see the unit. Alright, so this is 20 inches of Brazilian Remy curly hair. Now it's still in the net. Now I'm loving the curl pattern already, just looking at it. Ooh, she's pretty. She's very, very pretty. Look at that so pretty now the right products will bring this hair to life yes but it is already gorgeous though look at that mmm very very pretty very pretty now this is 130 percent density now the cap construction is standard you get temple combs one comb at the top one at the back and an adjustable strap and you get lace at the back just in case you want to wear your hair up into a cute updo. Now this hair is pre-plucked. So yes, honey. So we ain't got to be doing uh, the most to make our hairline look real. So I'm very, very pleased about that. Very, very nice. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and try it on with the lace on. See what she's working with. And I want to try that whole cutting the lace with the wig on my head. That just seems different. I've never done that. I always cut the lace before I put it on. I don't know. How, how do you do it? Do you cut yours before or after? I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I should try this because who knows that that could be the better All right. route. Alright, but we're going to go ahead and try this baby off. I think I might see now why you might want to cut the lace while it's on. I think I see. But I could have tightened this up a bit more. But I think I'm going to add an, an elastic band in it so that I don't have to tape her down but other than that she looks really really good I do like it though I honestly feel like 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 it's almost plucked a little too much for me that's almost like thin you know that's almost like like she ain't got no edges type thing you know and that's the last thing I want is my wig 
to look like I don't have edges, you know? That's crazy to me. So if anything, I might even cut all that off because like I said, I'm really not feeling the thin look. I, I don't like that. You know, I, I don't want my hair to look thin nowhere. So maybe I should just pull it back some. I don't know. Well, that that kind of looks a little weird to me. But nonetheless, it is pre-plucked, so that is an absolute plus. I am feeling that, though. I love that. Less work. But, yes, yeah, she's cute or whatever. I'm really, I do like it. I do like it. Let me know what you think. Do you think it's a bit thin, or, or am I just overthinking this? Now, I could be. Now, I tend to overthink things sometimes, but... Nonetheless, I do, I do like it. Hmm. She's very, very pretty though. Look at it. Hmm. Yes. She's cute. Push through, Elva. Push through. Brazilian Remy. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace. And I'll be back my final thoughts and review on my 20 inch Brazilian curly Remy hair from ElvaHairWigs.com now again all the information about this unit will be down below in the description box so please guys read that description box if you want the full details on this unit as well as a coupon code for your order and needs just in case you like this and you want to buy it you want to go check it out I got you. I got a coupon code for you. Nice discounts and things. So you want to check that out. But yes, I'm going to go ahead and get her situated. Get this lace cut and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back. So after about 10 minutes of finessing this hairline, this is what I came up with. Now, I did make this work. I do like it, but... Like I said, it still is a little more pre-plucked than I'd prefer. I just don't want my wig to come looking already like super thin. I just feel like I have like a hair loss problem around the front. So like I said, um, I think what I'm going to end up doing eventually is just cutting a little deeper on back. Try to get some of that off to kind of correct it because I can totally do that. I did study it a bit. I took it off again and looked at it. I was like, yeah, I can I can stand to go back a little more because the wig construction is big enough. The cap is large enough for me to, to do that. So, yes. And just in case I didn't say this already, the cap construction says medium, but this is totally big head friendly. This fits my head perfectly, and I feel like I still have room to spare, which is why I can stand to cut some of that off and still have a nice um, looking hairline and still have some pre pluckness on the wig but yeah um, I used my secret weapon on the curls real quick along with water and this is my secret weapon I use this LA looks style and gel uh, this is primarily sold where um, a lot of vanilla baby products are, are sold so I picked this up at my local Right Aid where they're notorious for having this type of stuff in there and I find that this makes my curls just stay just popping like not really being so hard but they're kind of crisp it dries kind of crispy but it keeps the wet look going if you know what I mean but yeah LA girls or LA what is this called LA look sometimes I believe you may can find this at the Dollar Tree but check like Rite Aid and CVS because I got this at Rite Aid and it was relatively cheap but you have to go into the areas where they mostly sell Caucasian products but yeah I do like this hair though nonetheless it is beautiful I love the density this is 130 percent the cap size is medium and it's a natural hair color like a 1B or a number 2 but I believe it's advertised as 1B but I absolutely love it. The cap is perfect. It doesn't make my head hurt. It's like super comfortable. I'm loving the hair. I love the density. I'm loving the curl pattern. I mean, I do like it. I just feel like they were just a little overzealous with the pre-plucked 
um, hairline but nonetheless this wig is gorgeous it, it does give me realistic vibes though I do like that I just see a little too much scat for me but um I like it I do love it I do love it I love this hair totally I just love it I can do so much with it though I do like that I love a good versatile wig so yes honey you want to check them out and the shipping was relatively fast it came DHL so yes check them out check them out and I did use um the got to be blasting spray just no, just the spray only not the gel on the hairline because I'm not really trying to sleep with this on tonight so I can get this back up with a little water you know what I mean so yeah I love it let me know what you think of this and this is from elvahairwigs.com this thing is amazing though it is gorgeous the hair feels good it looks good I look good honey yes this hair is gorgeous but yes that is it for me this is my review for elvahairwigs.com honey what's such a beautiful unit I am loving it loving it loving it and moving forward this winter honey this is gonna be one of those grab and go wigs because all I got to do is spray it down and go and she's pretty she's ready to go she's just BAM honey yes loving it let me know what you think leave me a comment down below be sure to check out the description box as all the information about this baby is right down there so I mean you've watched the video so you might as well subscribe to my channel as well do us both that fail subscribe because you don't want to miss any of my videos I don't want you to miss any of my videos so once you subscribe hit that notification bell so that you don't miss an upload from me hunty okay okay so yes subscribe I will see you in the next one bye